what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd Alright, what's up y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest How you feeling? How you feeling? Good it's 420. You getting hot today? Yeah, I got my gun <laughs> in my pocket. <laughs> so, um, what else you got planned today? None. It's a regular day. Regular day. So, do you smoke extra weed today, or is it just a regular day smoking? Regular day. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to play a game. I'm asking a question. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. All right. What's your sign? Aquarius. Favorite color? Red. Stranded on the island, what's three things you need? My phone, my boyfriend, and money. Okay. One artist you want to collab with? It could be anybody. Yeah. One artist I want to collab with. Anybody. Famous. Yeah, I be forgetting the famous people out here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh... About to say, low key, low key, yeah, low key. He died. No, he didn't. Low keyed, low key. Who's low key? I don't know who that is. Low K E E. Nah, I don't know who that is. Low key though, with a D. That was why no, I saw no. he died. Not yeah. with a D. We just E okay. E. Okay, yeah. I don't know who that is. Who is that? You know him, little little baby son him. For real? Yo. Oh. Look. Probably know my face. Okay. Oh. Oh. How you in tune with that? Been in tune. <laughs> <laughs> and Rico the the OG. Yeah, yes. I know who Rico. Three Rico. Okay. So, um, you be on TikTok? Yeah. What's your favorite TikTok sound currently? Um, bombastic side ah. <laughs> okay. How'd that go? Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Like, is this some shit? <laughs> okay, okay. Most underrated artist? Myself. Last thing to spend money on? Last thing to spend money on? Last thing you spent money on? What's the last thing you bought? My drugs. Okay. What's your biggest pet peeve? One thing you hate? Liars. Okay. What rapper would you not let date your daughter if you had one? Didi Osamu. Okay. Who your favorite artist right now? Favorite artist, my twin, my brother, and all my niggas. Favorite meal to cook? You be cooking? Yeah, I just made chicken alfredo last night. That's probably my favorite meal right now. Okay. One sentence for your ex? Dub. Who's your favorite power couple? Favorite power couple, Tariq and um, Tariq and his girlfriend right now, from Power. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, what's three traits about yourself? What you mean? Like, what's three qualities about you? Three characteristics. Okay. Different. Mm -hmm. I mean, unique is different, but unique, quiet, and one more. Loyal. Okay. Um, worst food ever. Um, worst food ever. Peas. <laughs> that was not random. Okay. Um, worst rapper ever. Okay, what's the song you hate? Some song by Duty Low. You know the name of the song? Nah, but it just start with ah ah. It just keep screaming. Just keep screaming. All right, and what's what award should what talk of the town award should you be nominated for this year? The realest female. The realest female. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, when we make a category for that. 
We got you. <laughs> so, um, so tell us how you got into music. My brother. I watched my brother. Like, he used to be, like, he was in and out, like, get booked. So it was like, it'd be times, like, when he started rapping, he told me he started rapping, like, so I just had to get in tune. But it was like, nobody would believe that like, he was rapping. So it was like, just me and him, you feel me? So it was like, I used to just look at him rapping. I see mad books, mad lyrics and everything. I used to just look at them. But he asked me one time, like, do you want to rap? He said, it would look good, like, because you my sister. Like, we both could rap. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So then from there, I just put on the shoes and just, just try it. So. so before getting into that, what you was getting into before? I used to play basketball. Okay. I was a civilian. Okay. Living a whole, <laughs> a whole life. I can't live no more. Okay, you can't live because music or because your brother started getting popular? No, just for me, the generation we started living in. Like, you got to pick, you got to see what you want to actually live for, what you want to actually take a risk for. And basketball wasn't the sport I was taking a risk for. Okay. I'm on a lot of blocks I can't be on. For basketball, nah, I'm good. Okay. All right, but getting into music, was your family supportive of the music? I mean, my mom, she was really like on some, it's just my, it should be my brother thing. Like, she was just thinking it was just a boy thing. Then when she saw me, my brother, make a song, she was like, she was actually supporting because she saw my niece and them. They would play us every day on the TV. So, like, she got she got to understand. She let it rock. Okay. All right. Did your mom ever say, like, what she wanted to see for you? Or she never said? I mean, she wanted to see me graduate. I gave her that diploma. Okay. Okay. Feel me? So, it's like, now I wanted her to just give me freedom. She gave me that. Okay. So, she was being supportive. Who phone? That's my phone. <laughs> so um so okay so she's been supporting. So what's your nationality? African. Yeah. So that's it though. Just ever. Okay. So did you try to make like a song like for that for your nationality or no nah, not really? I mean, I didn't. But like, you want to? Yeah. Okay. All right. So your mom's supportive. Is everybody in the family supportive or not really? I mean. Some just feel like, you feel me, like, shit, we could do everything by ourselves at this point. We don't need them. That's what some feel. They think since we on YouTube, we're rich. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, like, when did, I guess, the fame start kicking in for you? Was it African Demons or was it before that? It was African Demons. Yeah. So that's when you was a like. A lot of people never knew my brother had a sister. But you was like low key. Rappers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so that song was what popped you out. All right, so how was the transition from that? Now everybody know you, see you stopping now? That's fake annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could go back to the life where people used to just really never even look my way. Gangsta. What is it you don't like? You don't like all the attention or you don't like? I just feel like it just be mad fake love. Like people just want to be around just to be around because of the name. Like, the name don't mean nothing to me at the end of the day. Like, if I fuck with you, I want you to be around me because you fuck with me, not to be around me because of the person who I am or the person I'm going to become in life. That don't mean nothing to me. Because mm-hmm. it could be one, I could, you could think I'm going to be that person, but I don't know what I'm thinking. It could be a day I don't even want to be that person no more. So now who's going to be that person? But you feel like you always want to do music, though. But sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I could do other things. Like I could be a professional hairstylist, uh, make my own clothing line, something else. I mean, artists do all that stuff after they kind of get lit. Nah, so but I want to do it now. Like, like, I want to do something different. You see how they got they wait until they got lit? Nah. I want to mm-hmm. do a while before I got lit. So what's the plan? What you want to do now? Right now, I want to make my own clothing line. Okay. And I want to do a lot. Like what? Like streetwear? Because you be wearing mad streetwear, like sweatpants and hoodies and shit. Nah, not just streetwear. You feel me? <laughs> like, not just streetwear. Things students go in school too. Okay. So like something that's transversible, like polo or something. Yeah. I got a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you started doing that already or not yet? You know what? Not yet. I'm just think. I'm thinking what I will make my logo. Like what should it say? Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you um promote that you are making merch or you would want to keep that anonymous? Keep that anonymous. Okay. Like they gonna see it on me. Just ask where you got that from. Okay. 
All right, so we should look out for that, I guess. All right, so your brother's coming up, but your brother also comes with mad beef. Does that also start with you too, or it wasn't like that before? What you mean? Like, did did you have beef too, or nobody, or it wasn't like that? It seems like the girls is beefing now, but it don't seem like it's a new beef. Maybe y'all been beefing? I don't know. Nah, I feel like, nah. Them girls just put themselves into it. Like, they just put themselves into it. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't put myself into nothing until you, like, say my name or something. Like, yeah, you could argue with my brother, but at the end of the day, he's a, a boy, a man at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. I'll let y'all ones and twos, y'all men. Like, I don't put myself into it. To a female try to put themselves into it. Yeah, I got all rights. Because, like, he got a sister, too. Like, Okay. All right. So, when the girl started beefing. So, you heard your name first. From niggas, yeah. Oh, a boy said you first? Yeah, I get, I got, like, my anonymous rappers. <laughs> bad songs about me. I mean, I heard your name in like girl songs, but I ain't hear it. Look, nah, I'm lying. I definitely had some boys too, but I didn't know that they was first. I thought the girls was first. Okay, so when did the girls, I guess, come into play? Like later? No, nah, actually, girls, I did first. Oh, I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I just went to the dummy first. Yeah, I just the girls first. Okay. Yeah, that's how I started. Just the girls first. So you knew them already? Or they yeah. Like, oh, was y'all ever cool or no? Mm-mm-mm. It wasn't no cool, but you feel me? Like she, she, like she was like, like I didn't like know her, know her on some, know her, know her, but like she was just a female, like that was from a, like she's not even from that block. She was in the block, like you feel me? I that 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 block she lives in. I could say I grew up there because that my whole life from every day I get out of school, go to after school was that block. So it was like after school everything. That was, like, every day I go there. So it's like, mm-hmm. I ain't never run into her. So it's like, it was just confusing. So he's not even from there. Like, she's from, I don't know. So it's like, it was just different. I ain't gonna lie, it was different. Okay. So so you made the song first. Mm-hmm. Then they started rapping ever. So do you feel like you started people's careers, I guess, since they started responding to you? I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I started Winter's career. Cause she ain't, she ain't really, she ain't had nothing to say. Like every song she had, nine times out of ten, she's talking about a thought you could say, or she's saying this and that. But if you want to come direct, she's she's throwing shots at me. Cause like nigga, I threw them shots right at you. So niggas is waiting. They obviously waiting for what she got to say to Scotty next. Like it's not on some. We want to hear who she who she, nigga. They want to hear what you got to say about me. Mm-hmm. I made a song about you and your bestie. Just like on some, I don't know. Okay, do you feel like so the block has definitely played a part in it, but you know people just I guess was in the mix. Yeah. Okay, so how did you meet Wawa then? Oh, that's my twin. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I met her off of Facebook Live. Like that's the funny part. Like she was on live just messing up some girl one day. Like gangster. It was just one time I'm sitting down in my house. I just see some girl fessing up some girl, like, gangster. Like, just talk, like, you feel me? Like, she's on to her. Like, it's like some shit I would do. So it's like, you feel me? So I'm just looking at her. Like, she's on, she's on the, like, she's outside, like, by herself, a.m., like, 10 a.m. in the morning. Just Are you smiling loud? Looking for a girl that's not even woken up yet and brush her eyes and brush her teeth, nothing. Just on to her, you feel me? So it's like, ever since that day, gangster, I dead text her. We dead linked up. From there, we dug out, we locked in on some shit. You feel me? We had our own, our fault. We fell off and shit. We got on, we got back on. Like, we didn't fall off no more. Okay, so so she's from the Bronx too? Yeah, she's from uptown. Oh, so y'all blocks was close? We blocks was far from each other, but oh. it's like, you feel me? As kids, we, you feel me? We could move around a lot of places. Okay, so was she doing music too? or She was doing music before me. Okay. Gangsta. Okay, so with everybody around you doing music, do you feel more motivated now than ever? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like now we all got something productive to do, and we actually all on the same mindset. So, like, say, like, I won't have, I will need help with something, 
I know they can help me out because like we all doing the same thing. It's not like we all doing something different for you to say you don't know. You do know because you making music too. Okay. All right. So who do you feel like gives you good advice when it comes to the music? So me, what's on seat though? My brother, you feel me? Gangsta. Okay. You don't seem to go live as much as your brother does. <laughs> So, so when he do be on live and stuff, do you feel like you be having to defend him or you be telling him to chill or like, how do you feel about all that? No, I feel like, I feel like when he go live, I mean, it's just him. Like, you feel me? Like, he's, he's, he's most hated on. So it's like, what else can he do? He he goes live, he still gets hated on. It's like, mm-hmm. when he go live every day to prove his point, hey. IG decides to block him. He go learn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga go live a thousand times in one day. But nah, he learning though. I be telling him like, you gotta chill out because they that be strict. Like they be giving you like three strikes, then you're out. Yeah, someone he always finds his way back to the game. Yeah. So do um, so but do so do you feel like you diffuse some problems that he be having, or you just kind of like let it be, or if girls not involved, you don't feel a need to step in. Stuff just like that. If we're not involved, no. yeah, I don't need to step in because I feel like all him and including all my other brothers, they should be involved. Gangsta. Oh, so you got a big family? Yeah, I got eight siblings. Okay. Okay, so you got a big family. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So when he got signed and when Shah G's got signed, mm-hmm. how was that? How was that? Knowing like you know people around you was going up. Well, I was proud. Like I mean, because I always told him like we just gonna just wait our turn like. Just don't even see it into, like, I know we've seen people, like, getting signed out the blue. People that haven't even been making music longer than dumb, like, you feel me, or the short time, like, shorter than them, they getting signed. So I'm like, you feel me, like, don't even rush, because dumb people, like, you feel me, numbers don't mean nothing. Niggas just getting signed just for M's, M's, just one M, like, nigga, just wait. Mm-hmm. Numbers is going to get high, and niggas going to actually want you. So you could pick if you want them or not, if you want to stay with them or not. Okay, so is that kind of how you going about it? Like when you dropping music now, or you're yeah. not in a rush to get signed? You kind of waiting? Yeah, I'm not in a rush, gangsta. Just wait my turn. Like, you know. Okay. So what's your creative process like when you're in a studio? Like, what vibes you need? You need people, you need friends, you need drinks. Nah, sometimes I'm in the studio. All I need is just liquor. Liquor, and like one person. That's it. Mm-hmm. Liquor and one person. Okay. Are you trying to do like different type of beats or? Yeah, I'm trying to do like my Spanish beat mm-hmm. mixed with Afro. Okay. Okay. That's different. Yeah, I'm trying to get me something for the summer. So, your voice, do you make it deep or that's like your alter ego? Like, what is that? Now, I don't make my voice deep. When I rap, it's just, you feel me? It just, it just happens. Mm-hmm. You ever try singing or no? No. Not doing that? A little hook one time? No. Nah, I feel like, like, singing comes with, like, you got to be a certain person to sing. Like, you feel me? Like, your background can't just, like, my background don't go nothing with a singer's background. Like, you feel me? Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm, I don't call myself ghetto, but I, I would say I'm ghetto than a single rapper. Like, a singer rap, like, you singing versus me, like, not real singing. Like, NBA Youngboy do, like, kind of singing, I guess. But it's like, harmonizing. I don't know. It goes with him, though. It's not. Not for you? Okay. Everything not for everybody. So, um, what what do you think makes you stand out as an artist? Like, what makes you different from other people that's rapping? What makes you different? Like, why should people tune into you? Why should people listen to your music? What vibes are they going to have? Because I ain't saying the same words every time. You're going to hear something different every time. Is there a certain message you want to give? Is there- yeah, every song is not a diss. Like, for me, it'd be songs I just want to make just to talk about how I feel. Like, not just on some how this nigga feels and how he got killed. Like, for me, mm-hmm. sometimes I want songs to be on based on my vibes, like how I feel. 
Because Coming Home is like a slow vibe, but it seems like he was talking some shit on there. What inspired that song? That song, I then made that when I was by myself. Like, I was sitting down one day. I was not even by myself. I was, like, with, like, a few people. But, like, they was all doing something. But, like, I was just in my own head. So I just started writing my notes and just everything I felt right then and then. I just wrote it down. So how you feeling about drill music overall right now? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you tired of it? It's annoying. Everybody doing it. What do you think? I feel like you just. Some people say it's coming to an end. Just find an easy way to die. That's just drill music. An easy way to die. You think so? Yeah. All you gotta just do is say some funny shit on that beat, and you you were gonna be someone's new gangster. It's gotta be funny. So, do you feel like it's a way to do a drill song and not be a yeah. target? I guess. Yeah, j- just don't diss, <laughs> gangster. You don't mm-hmm. you don't gotta diss like gangster. You don't diss like gangster. Like you see how certain songs Kenzo B make, she don't like her songs don't even be dissing mm-hmm. gangster. It's like shit like that, and them Debbie drill beats. Like that's shit like that. Yeah. So is that what you're working on? Like you done yeah, I'm trying time? to do some shit like that, but it's like, you feel me? I got to get out the drill area and just move to a different, like, I got to be in a different, I don't even know how to say it. Diff- yeah, different environment. Okay. Do you feel like the drill shit is everywhere? Because, like, y'all all on TikTok, and y'all got mad blog pages. And yeah. <laughs> but it's everywhere, like, it's everywhere, but it's, like, it's different everywhere. You feel me? Like, it won't be popping as much as it's popping in New York. You see how mm-hmm. drill is popping in New York? I will go, like, say, I will go to Texas or something. It's not popping in Texas. Yeah. They got they got their own guitar beats. Own like, vibes, yeah. You feel me? Like, Big X the Plug. Shout out to Big X the Plug, by the yeah. way. Oh, you, you in tune. Yeah. Okay. That's my that's my boy. <laughs> All right. So you be listening to other kind of music. Yeah. So who's who else you be listening to? Shout out to Big X the Plug. You just put me I listen on to um, Low Key, yeah, Rico. I listen to um, OT7 Kwani. Yeah, shout out to him. Listen to Leaf sometimes. I can say that. I listen to Leaf sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Gangster. So you sound you like listen to some lyrical people. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. I be listening to them to like try to get, like, you feel me, like that mm-hmm. vibe. Because, like, you feel me? They drill, they, they drill, like, they drill. Like they drill rap. I guess itself. they drill in their city. Yeah, they I drill. Guess. They they drill in their city. But like the way they rap, you won't think like you feel me. You just think they niggas, they get money. Like just get mad money. You feel me? Like it's like them lyrics you gotta really listen to. Them niggas really making money, <laughs> drilling, <laughs> doing that type of music. Yeah. All right. So, who do you feel like I guess started drill music in a sense? Like who was getting Chief like Keith? Okay. And if anybody in New York, some people say. You said in New York? Yeah. Anybody you feel like started it? I mean, I ain't listen to nobody out here in New York. I just, Chief Keith. <laughs> Chief Keith, Lil J. Feel me? People like that? L.A. Those were the people I was listening to. It was me. Okay, so when did you start listening to New York Drill, if ever? Did you ever start listening? Well, your brother. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. My brother... Um, two two G's. Okay, so that um, Nick Blicky, Nas Blicky, feel me? Like, so yeah, are y'all cool with the Blickies? Cause I remember it was a thing back then. I don't, I don't know. I just keep myself out the mix. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cause you said went and said that he felt like y'all was blackballed. What do you think? Hmm. I no comments. <laughs> what to say? <laughs> Cause gays. <laughs> So you feel like you're not black boys? I don't know. I got no comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. So who is um, who's six iconic drill people from NYC? Mm-hmm. Drill artists from NYC. Drill artists, the six drill artists from NYC. That's like iconic. That like did they think six? If you can name six, you got less. I don't know. Um, uh, my brother, Shaw. Uh, which one? Shaji's. Oh. 
I'm just asking. Yeah, I mean, you could say both Shahs. I mean, because you feel me? Like, they both did their things. I ain't going to lie. Shah E.K., Shah G, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, for three more. I could say... Be Love. Hold on. He went gold. Shout out to Be Love. Yeah. Um, and two more. I'm going to be Brooklyn Drill, too. I like that. Um, two, two G's. Mm-hmm. And um, Nikki G Banjo. For real? That's what's up. Nobody had him on their list yet. Nah, I jacked Nikki G Banjo. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, hear me talking. So, um, so it's, it's so many, like, female artists right now. Do you feel like y'all getting y'all flowers or not? Nah? Yeah, but I feel like. But like the way we going, it's not really like I don't know. I'm I, I just talk for myself. The way we, the way I'm going is not really given. Sometimes like sometimes a nigga won't like think a female like I don't want to hear a female dissing like speaking like a nigga like you feel me. I want her to speak like a female like speak on you getting money, getting your hair done, going down, going out your going like about your life and just doing you and just saying yeah, rapping about you. Like, I mean, I don't cap rap what I, you feel me? Like, doing what a nigga could do. What okay. a nigga's supposed to do. So, know? do you feel like you want to change, I guess, your context and what yeah. you're rapping about? Yeah. But you're not going to, because, you know, girls feel like they got to talk pussy talk. You don't want to do that? Mm-mm. Okay, I'm just asking. I feel like when they do that, it's to, you're selling yourself, not even giving the test. Like, you just, at this point, you could really just sell yourself. Just put a price, just put a tag price on your neck. Just so you don't like when girls do that. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. But it depends. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like JT, I, I, yeah, I, I jack it. I jack her, Megan, all of that. But it's like, that's it's the I like the way they say. It. Like yeah, it's like they speaking on the shit they do. They not. You feel me? Like it's not something I would say though. Like I ain't gonna lie. Okay, but you do want to talk about more girly stuff. Yeah. Are you gonna like dress more girly? Like, are we gonna I mean, yeah, because everybody's summer? having a hard time thinking if I'm a dyke or a or a female. So yeah, is that bothering you? No, you just be. Comfortable? I just like people being confused. <laughs> <laughs> you like people being confused mm-hmm. because why? Less attention, I guess. Yeah. Okay. okay. But guys still be trying to holler. Yeah. How's that? Interested? You're not interested? You focus? What's up? Nah, like, you feel me? Like, I already, I already got a boyfriend, so it's like, I ain't worried about that no more. I don't say you come from. Yeah. Okay. And how was that, like, being in a relationship and being an artist? It's my first time, so it's, it's all right, I can say. First time? Relationship and... Going with your music, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Is there like do you feel like insecurities or no? No sign to that. Hmm. Like, you know you're getting popular, so guys are gonna keep trying to talk to you. You feel like y'all have a good like relationship talking about that stuff? Yeah. Okay, that's just up. So what's your plans for this year? My plans for this year. What could we see this year? See me in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Are you no, yo? You excited? No, oh. <laughs> the first one I call because no. Why you don't like wearing dresses? It's about to be summertime, bro. You just like being comfortable. Yeah. And then I guess you used to play basketball, so y'all used to wear basketball gear. Yeah, so it's like yeah. I don't even want to be outside no more. I mean, I'm still be outside, but just in shorts. Okay. All right, so what's your music? Are you being consistent? Because you'll be starting and stopping. No, I'm and trying to be consistent, though. But, like, I ain't going to lie. I got bangers on the way. Okay. It's just I'll be on some. I will write the song, and I won't finish the song. That's that's all it be. Like, okay. Like, I already make the song. It'll just be, like, 
Mad unfinished. Yeah, songs. just mad unfinished songs, gangsta. Okay. All right. Um, and then you was in the when well, Wawa dissed Murder B. You was in the video getting with the um performance. That's like trending on TikTok right now too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, do you plan on responding to her, Murder B, or not? Or Wawa did it, and you good? I feel like my twin got her already. My twin got her in the chokehold, so there's no point. Okay. All right. So, are you not gonna make any diss tracks? I am, but it's like it's not on, it's not like something I'm thinking about right now. Okay. So you just focused on like making other vibes. Yeah. Okay. And then um, so you saw the no jumper interview with your brother when they added you in the fuck Mary kill shit. They didn't know he. I was his sister. Like, that's how, that's, I don't know. That's I feel like I feel like everybody knows. Like I feel like did like. You don't really do a lot of interviews. You're going to start doing more interviews this year? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. Any any platforms you want to go on? Mm. Any platforms you fucking with right now? What's that? It's that, um, you got to take the question out that little, that little yellow bucket. Trash mag. Yeah. You want to do that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, do you plan on traveling? Yeah. Yeah, like where you want to go? Do you want to stay in New York? A lot of people. Bali, India, Chicago, Jamaica, Australia. I got a lot of places to go. Okay. And then, do you want to stay in New York or no? No. You know where you would move to or no? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you already got it mapped out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, tell the people where to find you. How can they tune in to your music? You can find me on YouTube, Scotty Two Hotty Forty Three, and. Tune into my song, Coming Home. Run it up. 